The Gulf Research Program was born out of tragedy. It was born out of the criminal side of the BP oil spill. And in that sense, we can't ever forget the 11 people that died on that rig. We are using the opportunity that, that you know, the legal system gave us to support something that would add value to this nation out of that tragedy. The criminal settlement allocated a total of $500 million that would go into a fixed endowment to be spent over a period of 30 years on science-based research for the Gulf of Mexico. The Gulf Research Program in its settlement mandate language was given three main areas. The first one is offshore oil production. The second area is around environmental protection. And the third area is around the health and the resilience of the people and the communities of the Gulf. Right. And you have a little bit of the geology of the area. You've got this marsh complex on top. started trying to investigate the relative importance of different seagrass. In the surface of the ocean, they, they will expand fast. It's very exciting. Scientists normally operate on relatively short time horizons for research. But here, you're able to think 30 years ahead. So that opens up a whole set of new possibilities in terms of the questions you can ask and the kinds of synthesis that you can do over time. This is extremely unique in the scientific community. It is almost unheard of to have monetary resources and time. In this case, we have $500 million, a 30-year timeline to use science to bring benefit to society. The problems we face in this world right now are at a level of complexity where no single person or government entity or private sector firm can solve by themselves. There is no single discipline in the sciences that can solve a problem independently. I don't know how you not do this in an interdisciplinary way. This idea of an interdisciplinary approach isn't just a, an academic idea, it's a research necessity. The system is driven by people, the landscape, and ecosystems, and infrastructure. And so you need to have this integrated approach because that's what the system is. It's an integrated system. One of the long-term legacies of this program is going to be a new cohort of scientists who wouldn't think about doing this research in any other way but across disciplinarily. The time to act is now, if not in the past. We have this opportunity with the amazing set of resources that we have at the Academy to use science to make the world a better place. We see this region has many challenges. The challenges will continue. The legacy of this program will be to show how important science is in making decisions that help society meet these challenges and keep this region vital and safe and resilient for generations to come.